Hello and welcome to the OC Varsity Gridiron Extra Show. I'm your host, Jonathan Camus. To my left, Steve Fryer. To my right, Dan Albano. We're here at El Medina High School and we're going to talk orange football. That's right, they're 6-0, and having one of their best seasons since... 1966, when the team went 8-2, and they started 7-0, and beat Villa Park to win the Crestview League Championship in the final league game of the year, and then played Edgewood of West Covina in the first round of the playoffs. Edgewood heavily favored. They did win 14 to seven, but Orange, man, that was a good year in 1966. This year's team making some history too. Hey, who needs Google when you have Steve Fryer right off the top of his head? Dan, um, Orange, uh, they're on a roll. They're, they're gonna play Seagrestrom. They're both six and zero. All right, in the Golden West League. Orange beat Santa Ana last week, 31-29. Um, Seagrestrom beat Westminster last week, 28-22 on a late Angel Lopez touchdown run. Seagerstrom's also out. One of their best starts in school history. Actually, the best start. Dan, 6-0 and versus 6-0. and Someone's winning, someone's losing. What's your take? It's going to be for the uh, Golden West League title. Yeah. Um, pretty big uh, implications, too, as far as CIF rankings, fellas, because Seagerstrom now is number one in uh, Division 12, and number two in Division 13 is the Orange Panthers. You know, uh, they're ranked uh, second to Campbell Hall. So both teams playing for a ton, league titles. But, you know, really, uh, you know, for, you know, the story here, I think, really is, is Orange High School off to one of their best starts. Just, you know, two years ago, these guys were winless. You know, they're, uh, they're now riding around the circle after uh, the Orange Circle, you know, um, celebrating these tremendous victories. Uh, Coach Pedroza's got these guys turned around really quickly, one of the top uh, up-and-coming coaches in the county. And, uh, but, you know, Segerstrom, you know, defending champs. Coach Tagalo uh, Tagaloa, big running game. Both these teams can run it. It's going to probably come down to who can play better defense. It's not a circle. It's a... It's the plaza, man. Look at the signs. I, I'm, I'm not from sticker. here. I don't There's understand. There's bumper sticker say it's the plaza, not the circle. The kids. The Panthers call it the circle, so I am calling it the circle. <laughs> That's all right. I'm fine. I'm tired of hey, fighting. I'm not from here. I don't get it. It's all good. All right. Let's, uh, let's talk to Orange. Let's talk to the football players and coach. Let's see what they had to say, and uh, we'll hear Mr. Fryers take the game. <laughs> Uh, let's kick it off to the players. Listen for the circle. There we go. The circle. We're a school that has a lot of potential and a lot of talent, and I think we are overlooked. So we have a lot of potential, mm -hmm. and we play with that chip on our shoulder because we feel that every game we played this year, we've been the underdog. And even though we're trying to prove everybody, we're still the underdog. So I think that hopefully everybody's mind starts changing and they see how we're not just the underdog. and We're just over here trying to actually take a championship. Yeah, I feel like the city's behind us. Uh, we, worked, we worked for that. And um, right. at first, people weren't behind us. Uh, losing was just a regular thing to Orange. After Thursday night's game, was a, it ended up everybody was right behind us. It's a good feeling that you get. It just feels so good. It feels so good. We're really working hard for this. We want to keep it like this. We want to keep it going. We have a really good momentum going right now. Hopefully, it stays like this. It's an amazing feeling coming from last year. You know, we ended up four and six, and uh, we knew we set out to, you know, to, to make things right this year. And the kids uh, have, have accomplished that. All right, thanks to Orange for having us today at El Medina at Fred Kelly Stadium. Steve, um, you know, Coach Pedroza, he has a history at this school. His grandfather uh, attended this school, um, so there's a lot of cool little uh, things right there to to write about. But uh, Steve, actually on the field, I think this can be just a wonderful game with two 6-0 and teams going yeah. at it. Yeah, and uh, and you're right, and Danny's right about it probably being for the Golden West League Championship. They, Orange took a big step toward that by beating Santa Ana last week, and, and again, they had, I don't know, 10 turnovers in or something like that. It was just a crazy game. Love you, Joe Tagaloa. You know that, but, and, you know, of course, Segerstrom's running the ball really well. Tags was a great running back yeah. at, at our alma mater, Saddleback High School. Um, but I think Orange might just have a little bit more physical edge coming into this game. I, you know, my understanding is that they just play tough. They pound pretty good. Uh, that could be the difference in this game. Nothing against the Seagulls from Jags who are having a great season, but, but I like Orange in this game. Dan, was there anything you learned from talking to these players here today? Well, I mean, they've been very committed, you know, uh, very committed. That's one thing I learned is, you know, last year they were four and six, missed the playoffs, and they, their, their off-season preparations in the weight room started right away. Um, Brandon Warren is a uh, playmaking uh, senior to watch a cornerback. 
Uh, he's a good corner. They got two good corners. They're really uh, a lot of schools after him too. Got some picking up some big sky, uh, maybe some Pac-12 interest. He plays some offense as well. Um, you know, Noah is is really uh, a key defensive lineman. And uh, hey, they have a new. They have they have one interesting transfer uh, is uh, Jason Wilkerson. A, l a little bit of a well-traveled guy this year, the former Santa Ana Valley quarterback. He was at Villa Park. He's now playing some safety um, at Orange. So um, they have they have and they have this committed group of of seniors that uh, you know really bringing up that Panther pride. So um, you know they're they're you know they're they're doing a lot of great things. Uh, you got to watch out for uh, 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 Delson uh, Santa Maria as a running back at uh, Seagerstrom. So they they got their work cut out from uh, to this week though. Friars final thoughts. Well, there was a sports writer about two years ago when Orange was struggling. He said that maybe Orange should consider going and becoming an eight-man program. That guy looks pretty stupid right about now, doesn't he? Yes. All right. I'm Jonathan Camus. That's Steve Fryer. He's not stupid. Dan Albano to my <laughs> right. <been> a while. <laughs> For all we your love, you Steve. Yeah, we, you on. all do. Who, who, who doesn't? <laughs> who does it? All right. Make sure to check out OCVarsity.com. We got you covered all week. Thanks what? for oh. You had one more. What are you on your picks this year, Fire? I'm um, 55 and 15. That's not bad. That's not bad. So he goes okay, right off the top of his head. Blind squirrel. Right off the top of his head. You, you, you only squirrel. remember the important stuff, right, Steve? I, I'm like I'm like Gary McKnight. I only remember my losses. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Me too. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.